right, so far so good. So we've got our application. Uh, it doesn't do anything useful yet, but we'll change that very shortly. Let's just review one thing. Uh, this application is being served up by the Ionic command line over here. So we're going to make changes to the source, and when we make changes to the source, this will recompile. You know, it'll run TypeScript, and it'll it'll do all the webpacky stuff that needs to get done, uh, and then it'll serve it up over here. So uh, we actually can kind of have, have a live preview as we make changes. And of course, if we do anything wrong uh, syntactically, uh, the whole thing will just kind of uh, give us a, an error message, and hopefully, we'll be able to figure it out. All right. So moving along, let's. Uh, Let's take this and uh, and put a list of names in here. That's a good starting point. So going over to our source, uh, the uh, pages home home.html. That's the HTML for this first page. Uh, and later we'll actually talk about why it starts on this page. But that's not something we need to worry about right now. So let's start by changing the title. I think uh, name shaker. Do I want two words? Yeah, that sounds good. Two words today. Uh, second, so it's going to update our application. Hopefully, we'll see the word name shaker, and we do. Good. Uh, now, we're going to put a list down here. So I'm going to replace this, and we're going to put an ion list, which is just, you know, this is the ionic component that you usually use to hold a list of items. Uh, and inside that list, we want a number of items. So, surprise, surprise, ion item. Now, if you want to learn, you know what ion components uh, you should be using and what's available. Just go to the documentation; it's really excellent. So we're going to have uh, an ion item, and let's start off by putting uh, the word "test" in here. We'll let that build. So we've just built a list with one item in it, and it's got the word "test" in it. And there we go. I see test. Yay! Okay. Now we want it to show a list of names, and I'm not going to hard code it here. I want it to actually pull from uh, some data elsewhere. So I'm going to go over to our controller. Actually, it's our component. Uh, that so this is the code behind this HTML, and we're going to add a uh, member here. I'm going to call it people. And what is people? People equals an array. An array of objects. So, and the object will have uh, a name. And the name will be, um, oh, we'll say baby. Yeah, baby. And we'll also add mom, pop and some random person named Goldie. There we go. So there's four people. Now at the moment we haven't updated our HTML so it'll display the same old stuff. Let's go back to our HTML and now we want to uh, we want to have an item for each of those people. So we're going to add a for clause in here. So star ng4 equals and you'll notice that this is good old angular to or, or later syntax. Um, and I'm assuming that you guys know, uh, well, if you don't know Angular 2, run out, do some learning, and uh, uh, it's, it's, fun, it's fun stuff. So ng4, uh, we're iterating over some data. So the syntax is let person of people. Okay, that may seem a little weird, but uh, it's pretty easy actually. So to remind you, in home, we added a member called people. And uh, we're just going to iterate over each of the, each of the uh, objects in that array. Um, and each one of them is going to be called a person. So in here, I can now go, um, well, actually, first let me save. And if this works, we should see the word test four times, because we're, we'll, we're going to iterate over each of those four items. Test, 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 test. Great. Uh, and now we want to actually use the name of those items. So I'm going to say curly, curly brace and person 
dot name and I'll save that and let's see if the magic happens it shouldn't be a problem if everything's working right we'll see a list of names there we go baby mom pop Goldie looks not bad all right thank you all right well that wasn't too hard let's a uh, couple things first of all um, now I'm going to do something that this is a uh, uh, it'll be different in your editor unless you're using Visual Studio Code. For me, I'm using Visual Studio Code, and we can see the, uh, I think that's a Git icon. It's source control. There you go. Source control icon. We can see I've got two changes that aren't committed. Um, so I'd like to just save my changes. Always a good idea to just, you know, when you've got something small working, uh, you know, save it. Because uh, you can always roll back if you made a mistake. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to say uh, add list. Uh, of people, right? Um, now you'll also notice though that uh, you didn't see me do the first check-in and that's actually Ionic did it all for us which is pretty pretty nice feature if you ask me. Uh, let me just tell you what, show you what I'm talking about. When Ionic created our sample application uh, it created all the source files and you know it did all the the NPM checkout to grab all the dependencies uh, but it also did one other nice thing which was it actually created a git project for us automatically um, and it even created a git ignore file that said hey these are the things that you can ignore uh, and this is how uh, you know you can see right there the node modules directory got ignored which is a common thing that everyone wants to do. You don't want to have to check those things in the source control. So, um, yeah, we get an awful lot for free just by using the command line. All right, let's see. The next thing we want to do is uh, maybe add a button over here to randomize the order. We don't even need to do a full randomization. We just want to have a button there to get us started. So, let's go to our HTML and in our navbar section here we're going to want to add a button at the end so just looking through this we have a header and it's got the navbar inside we've got the title and then after the title we want to add a section called uh, ion buttons okay uh, now ion buttons has got a property we can tell it you know you want it on the right side the left side uh, so i'm going to say i want these on the right side. And what do we want? We want a button. Oop. We want a button. Oh, command line completion isn't giving me help here. Hold on. Oh, it did that time. Okay. So we want a button and um, we wanted to say, I think, shake it. Little exclamation there. Let's shake that thing. Uh, if I hit save, we should see a button appear. So uh, once it compiles and we see the button appear, uh, we're going to want to add some kind of an event handler. So let's go and say click equals, and we need to tell it what method to call if someone clicks on this button. Um, I'm thinking we'll call it the shake it method. Sounds good. We can see a red underline actually because there is no shake it method yet. At least I can't find it. Um, so we're going to go over to home.ts and we're going to add a new method called shake it. Okay, the moment shake it does nothing. Let's just do something. Uh, what do we want Shake It to do? Well, I think we want Shake It to take our people array and maybe swap a couple of names. That's probably good enough. So uh, let's go people. Oh, actually, one other thing. It's a member. So we have to go this.people. Right? So now we have access to the array. And I want to take the first one. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to say let. Uh, P0 equals people0. Okay. Then, so I've got a copy of the first person, which is uh, obviously baby. 
Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that to the second position, take the second position, swap it to the first position. So we'll go this dot, this dot, uh, people zero. So we're going to overwrite that first person with the second person. <laughs> Copy. Paste. Okay, so we've, we've copied the first person into this variable. Um, maybe I'll just call it P for person. And now uh, I can take the second person, I'll write the first person. And uh, don't worry if you don't understand this. This is simply me doing a, you know, writing the code to, to swap two members of this array. Uh, and it is purely temporary code to demonstrate. Um, then finally, we're going to say, the second person is equal to the first person. We click Save. So now we can run over here and clicking on Shake It should swap these two people. Just waiting for Ionic to finish doing all of its magic. Usually it doesn't take too long. Finally, Okay, the page is refreshing. There's the shake it button. We click it, and as we can see, I'll click it multiple times, and I'm able to swap baby and mom. No problem. So this button is doing something useful. So, not too bad. Pretty easy. Pretty easy for sure. All right, thank you.